Hey guys, this is Andy with Get Your Wellies. I'm here in the garden. It's pretty cold and um, most of what I'm doing today is cleaning up a bit. But right here behind me, these are what's left of the banana plants. They're just starting to deteriorate. What I'm going to do with those is cut them down and cover the rhizomes that are in the ground and let these rot down through the winter time. And in the spring, a lot of those nutrients will be down in the ground for when the new plants come back. So join me as I work on that today. Until then, get your wellies, meet me in the garden. Hey guys, welcome back. So this is actually not the same day. Uh, this is a, a new day for this and I, um, I actually went back in the rain started right after I started my video last time so I just went ahead I had my machete out here just went ahead and cut everything down to the to the ground uh, as far as the um, banana plants go and so instead of uh, having those uh, shabby looking plants against this fence they're all cut down now I cut the uh, the banana trees down and laid the pieces of stem all around where the rhizomes were. So I um, <clears throat> cut these down, chopped them down pretty low to the ground and then this is where the, the banana plant was. There's three of those total and then there were some small ones that also just chopped those down. Uh, this is a piece of the stem so they're, they're pretty thick. They're really kind of sappy, but a lot of water content, but lots of nutrition. So um, I'm laying these next to them. These are big and kind of hard right now, most of them, but they will deteriorate quite quickly. And then over the top of that, I'm laying the leaves over the top. So this, this area is about eight foot long in this bed. I am likely to come back in the spring and build this where I have this piece of wood here. I think I'm just going to put some solid uh, treated wood and build a raised bed, um, probably about 12 inches deep. Um, let all this deteriorate and then put some super soil on top and we're basically going to go all the way down here and do that, do raised beds. Um, so um, that's the plan for the spring uh, not a very exciting video but uh, if you have banana plants let me know what you have done in the colder zones um, i.e probably you know zones five six seven um, what do you do with yours in the winter time i'd be kind of intrigued to know um, last year i dug them out honestly that's a lot of work that i don't know that i'm willing to do again so i'm hoping that these come back this is an experiment get your wellies we do lots of experiments here um the one that i left in the ground last year did come back um and but it was the first one to die however they probably weren't watered quite as much bananas really like a lot of water and this summer was crazy dry here in arkansas and i feel like um in order for me to really make them do well i would probably have to put a soaker hose around them which i may do that next year anyway but thanks again for joining me if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up if you have not subscribed to the channel yet but would like to see some of the other projects that we have going during the winter and especially as we start warming up towards springtime then uh, go ahead and subscribe too really appreciate it so join me next time on get your wellies uh, until then Take care. Bye now.